universe expansion rate data confirmed, but it deepens the mystery of the Hubble problem. Welcome to the Space Diary channel. Before watching, I want to ask you to help our channel by liking and subscribing. Scientists believe that the well-known method of studying the rate of expansion of the universe is the most accurate, but it does not solve one important mystery. The rate of expansion of the universe, or the Hubble constant, is one of the fundamental parameters for understanding the evolution of the cosmos. But there is a difference between the value of this constant, measured with the help of bright stars, and the value measured with the help of relic radiation left over from the Big Bang. This is the so-called Hubble problem. The authors of the new study, published in the Astrophysical Journal, say that the Webb Space Telescope has confirmed the accuracy of astronomers' measurements of the expansion rate of the universe. But this does not solve the Hubble problem. The Webb Space Telescope has made it possible to conduct new observations of bright stars that are used as cosmic benchmarks to determine the accuracy of measurements of the speed of the expansion of the universe, scientists say. The brightness of some variable stars, called Cepheid stars, indicates how far away they are from us and how long their light has traveled to Earth. The redshift of the galaxies in which they are located shows how much the universe has expanded during this time, and accordingly, the rate of expansion of the universe can be obtained. According to the scientists, it is the supergiant Cepheid stars, which are 100,000 times brighter than the Sun, that provide the most accurate data on the rate of expansion of the universe. With the help of Cepheids, scientists already know that the expansion rate of the universe is 73 kilometers per second for one megaparsec, which is 3.3 million light years. But measurements of relic radiation show that this speed should be 67.5 kilometers per second for one megaparsec. This is the Hubble problem that scientists are trying to solve. The authors of the study conducted a new observation, 320 sea feeds using the Webb telescope, which can more accurately separate the light of these variable stars from the light of other objects. As a result, astronomers found that earlier measurements of the distance and brightness of these stars by the Hubble Space Telescope were accurate. This means that the recognized method of calculating the speed of the universe works as it should and provides correct data. However, these results cannot explain why the universe is expanding so rapidly, nor why measurements using stars from the later period of the universe's existence differ from measurements using relic radiation from the early universe. The authors of the study believe that mysterious dark matter may be behind the Hubble problem. Perhaps we do not understand gravity correctly and there are other laws of physics in the universe. Perhaps there are unique particles or fields in space that we don't know anything about. So, despite the convincing evidence of the accuracy of the popular method of measuring the speed of the universe, the mystery of the Hubble problem is only deepening, scientists say. Was this video interesting for you? Please share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for more interesting videos.